Assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. And good afternoon to you all. Uh, today I will be presenting to you on the article review that I did on the topic information information security in ICT from an Islamic perspective. So brothers and sisters, inshallah I hope you enjoy this short video and the benefit of it from it inshallah. So my name is Ahmed Ayyub Muhammad and I'm presenting the topic on information security in ICT from an Islamic perspective. My course is Semester IT and Islam. So inshallah we'll dig into it. Bismillah. Uh, so what is in general what is information security? So in ICT Information security is the guarding or the prevention to prevent harm to be incurred in, in someone's information. By information here, I mean the assets that someone holds there or a company or an organization. So the security protocols needed may vary depending on the importance of that information to that person or the organization. Perhaps you might say, a secret ingredient of a company, let's say KFC. So KFC has a secret ingredient and they hold it there. So that information, secret ingredient, is very important to the, to the company KFC. And they need to take measures to secure it. So what is the relationship between Islam and ICT? in accordance to information security. So is there any correlation between the two? Or do they not correlate? You can say in general that Islam and ICT, they do correlate. And we're gonna touch on it a bit. Uh, from the ayah uh, in Quran chapter 2 verse number 31, Allah says, وعلم الآد بعد عوض بالله من الشيطان الرجيم وعلم آدم الأسماء كلها ثم عرضهم على الملائكة فقال أنبئوني بأسماء هؤلاء إن كنتم صادقين صدق الله العظيم In translation And he taught Adam the names of all things and placed them before the angels and said Tell me the nature of this if you are right so in this ayah, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala associates Adam, man, with knowledge. He has instilled with us as human beings the desire to seek out knowledge. So yes, Islam does not, Islam and ICT, they do correlate it to each other because Islam actively uh, asks of us human beings to engage and to seek knowledge so so there is a correlation between Islam and ICT about the ethics so what are the some of the Islamic rulings in regards to the ethics in uh, ICT so a lot of people have access to communication technologies nowadays but how are they using it is it in a good way or in a bad way? So, the rulings in Islam towards the misuse of information technology are quite frowned upon. The misuse of information is frowned upon in regards in Islam. Considering some of the misuse may be like viewing of haram sites, i.e. pornography, or information stealing. And here in Quran chapter 3, ayah 104, in translation, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Let there arise out of you a group of people, inviting to all that is good, enjoining al-ma'ruf, i.e. Islamic monotheism, and all the Islamic orders want to do, and forbids al-munkar. And the polytheism and disbelief and all the Islamic has forbidden, and it is they who are 
the good people. So here Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala urges that us to abstain from the evil deeds and to remind one another of the good acts, to enjoy in the good acts. So Islam categorizes the above acts as unorthodox and in doing so one receives a punishment from Allah unless one does repent. Uh, so what are the impacts of information technology on Islam? It can be used in a good way. It can be used to spread Islam. We have seen like YouTube hotbus and all that they are published in YouTube and it reaches people all across the world. It can be used in a good way in that manner and it can be used to preserve the Quran and Hadith and the Islamic teachings. It can be used to bring together Muslims worldwide and collect them as a community. All these are the good uh, impacts technology has in Islam. So, yes, Islam and ICT ethics, they do correlate. As a Muslim, one should abide by the Islamic ethics when uh, using ICT. They should be aware of the acts. They should be aware of the effects of their acts to their society. And... Uh, Inshallah, that's it for my topic. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Thank you for listening. Have a good day, inshallah.